with Crawl Space Ace, and today we're going into a crawl space here. Um, I got a customer that has actually hired us already to encapsulate their crawl space. Um, I'm just here because we got uh, the electricians coming here in the next couple days to install the lights and outlets like we always have in our in our crawl space encapsulations. So I'm here, I'm just gonna mark mark where we want the lights and, and the, the outlets and everything so they know where to go. But I figured I'd give you guys a little tour um, of the before uh, before look of, of this crawl space before we, we make it nice and pretty. So, so f come along. So here's the entrance, the same old rusty metal door as most any house out here's got. So, I mean, it's, got gaps nice gaps everywhere so obviously snakes and moisture can get into this pretty easily let's pop this off take a look at what we got all right so look ton of condensation right there on their duct work means they got a lot of humidity down here dew points real high humidity's real high We got my favorite type of tacking up of insulation, not this dang chicken wire is a pain to take down, but all this insulation's gotta come out because we gotta do some mold remediation in here as well. So obviously moisture equals mold. So we'll pull all this chicken wire down, pull all this insulation down and uh, do some mold remediation clean this sucker out we got some moisture up on the walls here so we're getting a nice so we got lines here lines down there so they're getting some good standing water down in this crawl space as well more moisture not a good not a good deal so that's why that's why they hired us, hired the pros to come out here and, and take care of them. So, not the worst crawl space I've seen by any means, but they're definitely getting water in. They got moisture issues with the condensation. They got moisture issues with the water getting in. They got mold issues. Here's a little spot just to show you a little bit of the mold here on the floor joists so clean her all up put a sump pump system in here make sure that water's getting pumped out clean it out and get our nice 12 mil high strength liner down and uh one of our april air dehumidifiers and get this Get this crawl space nice and clean and we'll never have to worry about it again so stay tuned for for what it looks like afterwards thanks guys all right now it's been been about five days for us but probably only seconds for you but here we are with the finished product of our crawl space encapsulation so come on and take a look here's our new custom all composite crawl space door never have to worry about it again It'll always be there. So let's undo this latch. Pull her open. Check it out. Nice and bright with our lights all set up. Got our April Air dehumidifier over here running. Dump pump over in the corner. Hang on, let me kick these boots off and we'll crawl around a bit. Don't want to get our nice encapsulation all dirty. Let's start over here with the dehumidifier. And I tell you what, plug this thing in about Probably about two hours ago. 
I wanted to turn it on as quick as possible because as we we're laying this dang liner down, I could see everywhere my guys walk. There's condensation building up on the liner. That's how that's how much humidity and how high the dew point was in this crawl space. I mean we're already gotten we already gotten the dew point down enough to where the the duct work isn't isn't condensating like like you saw on the before. It's nice and dry now. But when we plug this thing in, it was it was at 89 percent humidity. Where are we at right now? Two hours later, we're down to 79. Still very high, but it'll take some time to to bring it down. So. Pulled the old insulation out, put new insulation up. Usually I like to put encapsulated insulation back up. It's not too big of a worry when we encapsulate it because we're pulling all the moisture out of the crawl space and they won't have to worry about their, their insulation soaking up moisture because there won't be, won't be the moisture to soak up. But the, uh, with this whole COVID thing, it's, it's hard to get some supplies. So we had to, had to make do with what we got. But nice and nice and clean, just like all our encapsulations. All right, let's go check out the sump pump. dirty over here I guess I got to get on my guys about doing that final cleanup a little better but other than that they did a great great job I mean it is clean so I'll go over go over the sump pump system here we got um, got a nice clear lid you can look in there and and see the sump pump we got this is our water sensor, so if for whatever reason that pump burns out and this thing starts filling with water, it's going to set off that sensor and and uh, give me and the homeowner a heads up so we can get over here and get it fixed. This blue line is our dehumidifier um, drain line. Comes in here and drains out. Got a nice quiet check valve on here. System is up and running. We're looking good. By this time tomorrow, that humidity should be down under 60%. And they won't ever have to worry about this crawl space again. Alright, thanks for watching guys.